So race 34 in our last couple from our day out at Carlisle are going to be the starters all as qualifiers. First up is the hurdle qualifier for the extended two miles, six and a half furlongs. So Jehan books jolly for Pedrick Hogan, Darren Thompson's Anya Splash, Stu Gray sends Walters and Postillion, Pontypool Racing's Press Gang, Rabin... Raven, Mad Chen for Patrick Hogan, Darren Thompson's Indian Queens, Glamis for Alex Cherry, Vinnie Gerrard's Pompey King, John Morgan's Vertical Blue, Tiger Soprano for Matt Cooper, Alex Cherry's Vermod, and Olive Oil for Matt Cooper make up 13 to try and qualify for the Starters Orders Finals, which is week 13. Already racing. And then I have 11 flights to take. Tiger Soprano from Matt Cooper that's going to lead this from Indian Queens, Vertical Blue and Postillion, all, all taken a keen hold. Not much of a pace on in the race as they go through the first quarter mile. It's Tiger Soprano from a chasing pack. The one, two out really wide, a Glamis and Vermod for Alex Cherry as they get to the first. And everybody skips over that, although Vermod was a little bit sticky on landing. And then joins Anya Splash and Pompey King at the rear as you go over the second. But that's a big chasing group, just the length between all of those. The one that's trying to get a little bit wider than all, I think, is Great Clutterbuck's Press Gang. As they take this turn, it's Tiger Soprano. Reluctantly leading, I believe. By about three lengths to Indian Queens and Postillion and Jahan Books Jolly. Olive Oil a little bit wider. And then Rabin Man, Mad, Rabin Mad Chen, vertical blue for John Morgan, the light blue silk yellow cap up against the railway is Anya Splash, and out wide is Glamis and McWaters, and the graver modern Pompey King, as you go over that one towards the route, and then just press gang for Grey Clutterbuck just at the rear, trying to follow up from his bumper win in the last, but it's this Tiger Soprano, it's over the fourth, let's take it. Cleanly. And Cooper's got a 1 2 at the moment as Olive Oil just moves into second place from Postillion up against the Rao. Take the fifth. Again, all cleanly over it. So Tiger Soprano, Olive Oil, Postillion. The yellow silks at Jehan Bucks Jolly just nosing through just on the outside of that. He's vertical blue for John Morgan. Wider still is that's Glamis and McWaters, I think. Stu Gray. Two Thompson horses up against the route. Indian Queens and Anya Splash. And the Graver Mod. And then Rabin. I can't get that Rabin Mad Chen. For Patrick Hogan, the Yellow Silks Black Cap. And just to the two at the rear, Press Gang and Pompey King, as we've been since the beginning. So with a mile and a half left to run as they go on out towards the back straight, is still this Tiger Soprano, although taking a hold all the time. Dillion and Olive Oil and Vertical Blue and Jahan Bucks Jolly and Glamis Wider. Widest of all now is Muck Waters. Black Silks, Green Sash, Black Cap. And just at the rear is Pompey King for Vinnie Gerard. And a mile and a quarter to run, Tiger Soprano. And lead them down to the next. is getting closer all the time, although Postillion up against the rail takes a hold and allows Vertical Blue, Olive Oil and Glamist. They're still taking a hold as they go into this, the six, they're all over it. We look, can't see the tree for the woods, or the woods for the trees, but it's Tiger Soprano. Two Indian Queens has moved into second on his own now, Vertical Blue and Glamist, and then Rabin Mad Chen, wider still is McWaters. Just getting headed now, Tiger Soprano for the first time. As Indian Queens takes it up. They're in the final mile. Indian Queens from Tiger Soprano just being hurried along a little bit. As they get to the seventh, the leader's over it well. Nice jump, took a length advantage in the air. His stay mate, stable mate Anya Splash didn't go over it so well towards the rear. As they go over the eighth, so it's four from home with just three to take. It's this Indian Queens. Tiger Soprano is just a length or so behind. Then Olive Oil up against the fence. Then Rabin Mad Chen moving well. Press gangs come from last to nothing as well as Vertical Blue making a run there. McWaters just on the outside and they're a length or so away from the rest. So it will depend as they come off this bend now and line up for the judge. It is Indian Queens that still leads from Rabin Mad Chen and then Tiger Soprano. Mike 
Walters making up some good ground now. Press Gang trying to run on. Olive Oil. Glamis making some moves now as well as Vertical Blue that doesn't seem to be picking up. But it's this McWalters inside the three and a half now. Goes over the three from home and leads. So McWalters from Press Gang in second. One that's gone backwards is Indian Queens, but it's McWalters from Press Gang. Out wide is Glamis up against the rail again. Is Indian Queens coming back into it. Rab and Mad Chen is nowhere at the moment as he goes over the penultimate. It's still this McWalters. But here comes Glamis and Press Gang. Indian Queens, Rab and Mad Chen. John Morgan's vertical blue is still running on with a furlong and a half. He's over the last. So we've got a furlong left to run, and it's this McWalters from Glamis, Indian Queens. Vertical blue. McWalters is not really picking up here in the final half furlong. Glamis is going better, and it's McWalters. Going to be taken by Glamis. Indian Queens up on the inside. Vertical blue, but this Glamis. This Glamis is going to take it from Mc Indian Queens on the inside. McWalters is third. I think vertical blue was fourth. I think all four of those will qualify. A win there for Alex Cherry. I think it's the first Alex Cherry horse I've conned this year. With a win. Well done with Glamist. Indian Queens got up for second. That Walters was third. Held off vertical blue for John Morgan in fourth. And I think a fifth was Anya. Anya Splash, who was probably last coming into that home straight.